For farmers, preserving their land means both environmental and economic advantages. By keeping the land in place, they also keep valuable nutrients in place instead of washing away in the rain or blowing away in a dust storm. The benefits are both large and small, but one of the easiest to see is the improved biological activity in the soil measured by the common earthworm. Yeah, I think we're getting better soil tilth. Uh, I see a lot of uh, uh, night crawlers in the uh, spring of the year, so I know our tilth is getting much better. To understand how farmers can improve their efficiency while improving the land itself, it's important to understand the fundamentals of crop production. Tillage is the farmer's way of preparing the ground for planting by breaking up and smoothing the soil. Tillage also helps control weeds and aerates the soil. Advances in tillage practices mean minimal disturbance to the soil, resulting in less erosion. You know, I can remember, you know, just big globs of mud down at the bottom of the hill when you'd have a heavy rain and just, you know, all the soil would go, you'd have loosened up and it's just so much different these days. I mean, we, we can still lose some soil, but we don't, you know, nothing to the extent that we used to when our dads farmed this ground. And, but they didn't, you know, they didn't really have a choice. For more than 30 years, innovative farmers have discovered ways to improve productivity, increase yields, and preserve their land. We're using techniques that are trying to stay with more minimum tillage, such as strip tillage, all the way to no-till, where we're, we've got better planters that can go through higher residues. We have tillage equipment that can go through higher residues, but maintain um, much more than even the minimum of 30% residue left on the surface at planting time. Growers that are using uh, wise, sound management practices, such as nutrient management, water management, tillage management, we're seeing that they can see improvements in their yields of anywhere from 5 to 25%. And when you're talking about irrigated corn yields, for instance, that's looking at anywhere from 20 to 50 bushel to the increase. As competition for water resources intensifies, agriculture producers must make the most of irrigation water and soil moisture. Conservation tillage practices, which minimally disturb the soil, reduce rainfall runoff by more than 60 percent and soil loss by more than 90 percent. The impact of falling raindrops is also minimized by crop residue or cover crops, thereby reducing erosion. The soil benefits as the physical, chemical, and biological properties are enhanced. Residues located on or near the ground surface act as small dams. To reduce the speed, water runs across the surface of the field, resulting in reduced soil erosion. When, the, when raindrops hit that, you know, they just, they'll kind of shatter and dissipate a little more, and it also lets, uh, lets it sink into the ground a little better, and it slows it up so it doesn't gather up so fast, the water. If it does puddle real fast, it kind of slows that water up and, and keeps it there. And then it, if any dirt tries to move, it hits that trash and then just kind of settles, settles there and doesn't move. It's definitely, it keeps, uh, keeps your organic matter higher, so that is able to uh, retain more, not, more of your fertilizers and, uh, and uh, things to, and then it holds moisture better. I mean, the stubble holds the ground. I mean, we're not having near the washing. We're maintaining the, the uh, moisture it's saturating into the ground compared to running off the ground. 